Hey, YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One, and I am alive. I appreciate all of the phone calls, the texts, the emails. Uh, I am not dead. I'm alive. All is well, other than I have been sick. Um, so, started probably last Saturday, so I've been sick for over a week. I'm finally getting better. Um, so, purpose of this video is the first to tell you I'm good. Um, you don't have to send out a search party. Secondly, um, the last video I did over a week ago was about the blankets. And so far we've raised, uh, over $1,200 and it will go to the end of the month. And I'm donating $5 for every blanket sold to my local food pantry. So hopefully we'll sell a few more. And then near the end of the month, I will take them a check, uh, to a very deserving charity. So I was going to do this video actually two days ago. I was going to have it posted, but I've been so sick. There's no way I tried to do it today. No way I could get through it. Uh, coughing. And, but this is the new echo flow. I'm going to tell you what they've done a lot of things, right? Um, so I'm not going to do a review on this thing. I'm going to, hopefully I pray I can get it done tomorrow. Um, but this is the echo flow monster monster. This is the stage where, you know, a lot of people call me and say, Dave, I need a backup power for my refrigerator or, or for this or for that. And, and they have two or $3,000 budgeted. This is at the point of going to like a whole house backup. Uh, I'm not going to cover everything, but they've done a lot of things, right? Echo flow. And the unit, um, is excellent. But the only problem is this is an echo flow in a blue Eddie shop. This is a blue Eddie shop, blue Eddie. Blue Eddy. So hopefully we don't have any problems between the Echo Flow and the Blue Eddy units. Um, but I will be going head to head. The Blue Eddy 500, the Blue Eddy 300, which I'll be doing a full review on, and versus the Echo Flow. As you know, I don't get paid to do these. I purposely do not take anything from the manufacturer. Uh, I do get the benefit of having the machine. Um, so we're gonna go head to head. I'll give you a little hint. This one has 220 built into it. You don't have to have two units. So uh, they're listening. Companies are listening to people and putting features on there that they want. So got to get that done, I hope, tomorrow. Um, but the reason I want to talk to you is, yeah, those are my chickens. Um, these storage containers, they come for sale all the time up for auction. You can look for them. A lot of times schools sell them, colleges. I think they're to hold drafting, you know, blueprints. Um, but they're huge. Each unit, this is one unit, is approximately about three foot by four foot by maybe 18 inches tall. And they stack on top of each other. Um, I have seen tons of these for sale. And they range from 30 to $35. Um, I bought these at business going company going out of business and I paid a hundred dollars for these three and a hundred dollars for these three. I've had them for a while. Um, they are the ultimate way to get organized. Um, you definitely can put your stuff in there. Now they're, they're a little bit on the narrow side, but you know, like pliers, I got hammers, all kinds of stuff can store, even hatchets can store in them and you can get organized. Uh, I think the key to being organized with this many drawers is to make sure you label it. The reason I'm labeling everything is because I'm old. I forget where I put stuff. But also my son, my wife, my daughter-in-law, if they need to find something, they don't have to ask me. I can just say, hey, go look at the cabinet, and you'll see the sign. So if you're going to buy these, try to get the base unit. That's just a base down there, not the wooden base, but the, the metal base. Um, so, you know, if you buy one, you might just get the unit, try to get the base with it. Um, these would be excellent, excellent for, you know, like, um, if you got a bunch of pistols and magazines and some ammo, you could definitely, the pistols can lay in there. You can put all your mags in it. You can put your ammo in it. Um, so there's a lot of uses for these things. And when you price these compared to a really good quality, uh, some type of tool cabinet, tool chest, uh, for the price, $30, $35, you can't beat it. Um, I, I regret not buying some more. 
Uh, so I'm going to keep my eyes open and, and maybe add another set right here. For $100 right there is ultimate organization. And that is the key. You cannot go and, and be a prepper and, and purchase things and not have a plan. How are you going to store it? How are you going to put it away? Uh, how are you going to keep it uh, from getting nasty? Um, so buying things is awesome because right now the inflation rate, I will assure you, things that I have in here is half the price of some of the stuff now that has gone up in price just because of the inflation rate. Um, so that's just a short video. A bunch of people asked me, hey, Dave, how you doing on your, your shop? You can see I'm not too far ahead on the shop. I'm working on a million other projects. Uh, still got gravel on the floor. I did get my air conditioning, heating and air conditioning unit right there. But it does me no good when it's all wrapped up. Um, so, so much to do. Uh, so, so little time. Um, so that's what's going on. I'm going to show you the echo flow. In the background is Nate's camper. Don't look like a camper, but I'll go into that in depth. Uh, what he's doing in there. He's working hard. Going to turn that into a camper. Uh, and basically the bottom line, uh, the campers nowadays are so cheap. Uh, not well made. We had a friend buy a pop-up camper, a really nice one, brand spanking new. It's only a few years old, and he has to replace the roof already. Um, so Nate didn't want to go down that you know uh, road uh, of just inferior products, and that's what it is nowadays. If you work for a camper company, I'm sorry, uh, but hopefully we can put better products in there, better quality products, so the thing will last. So. We're going to be doing a whole build on this. The reason is there's a lot of people looking for tiny homes. They're very expensive. Um, you could definitely convert one of these into a tiny home. If you're a single person, man, it would not be hard to really make this thing very livable, make it self-contained. We will be putting solar on it. We're going to go so he can do more boondocking camping. There's a lot of national parks out there that uh, you can camp, but they don't have the hookups. So we're going to try to incorporate that. Um, I will show you. I'll put a link to the video of his other trailer camper. Uh, basically, he's just used a haul, and that's what he has used. Uh, so he's stepping up. But that was really good for him. Um, but the process of setting up and then tearing down took hours to, to set up his thing. So I'll put a link to that video. You can check it out. Uh, so they're trying to speed up their process, plus have a little bit safer place. Sleeping in a tent uh, is not as safe as sleeping in this. So he'll we'll show you all the modifications he's going to do to it. Uh, I'm helping him a lot. The reason I'm helping him because the boys thoroughly enjoy camping. If the boys are enjoying camping, they're also enjoying fishing, uh, fire making, all kinds of, you know, they go out and they catch fish, and they cook it on the fire. So they're learning these good, I call them survival skills, but they're life skills. So anything to keep them away from computers, TV screens, uh, video games, uh, you, you, can't, you can't tell your kids not to do those things, and then you don't give them any alternatives. So I'm making sure that they have alternatives that are fun. Uh, and be outside, breathe in clean air, uh, and learning things. So... That's what's happening. You can see the shop is not done. Um, it's probably going to be another year. But at least we're getting work done, and, and, and that's positive. So I am alive. I am, I guess, almost well. Um, I appreciate all your concerns. Uh, some people thought the government came and got me. No one said anything about UFOs, so that's good. But no, the government didn't come and get me. Uh, all is good other than just being majorly sick. And I will tell you now, as I get older, I get wimpier. Used to be I'd work two jobs, work 12, 14, 15 hours a day, uh, and go to work sick. Um, I don't do that anymore. If I'm sick, I, I moan, I groan, I milk it. Uh, my wife takes really, really good care of me. Uh, I'm a wimp now. Thanks for watching.